So you can use my channel, please like and subscribe to it. Turn on the notification bell so you're notified whenever I post anything new. And leave a comment on the comment section so we can all have a one-on-one -on -one dialogue based on everything we've talked about. And for everyone following me, for everyone liking my page, for everyone subscribing, thank you guys so much for the support. I really, really, really appreciate it and I hope I deliver the extent that all of you want. Speaking of delivering, um, okay, before I get to that, if you want to contact me, for consultation bookings only, the number is 0655-051216. I'll leave it on the top as usual. Okay, guys. Um, speaking of delivering what you guys want, um, for months now, ever since I started with this channel, everyone has been saying, Gogom, so again, please make a video showing us how to partner. And I know it seems weird for some of us who actually know how to partner that some people don't know how to partner, but I've encountered that a lot. So worry not. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to do it okay so i'm gonna be taking you guys step by step on how to partner and um what you need to actually do this so it's only a simple partner session whereby you're not doing anything you don't really need um traditional beer um you also don't need the simple thing so okay sure. let's switch up and wait, let's let's look at everything that we're gonna need to partner okay okay let's get to it um i had to switch the camera just so everyone can see everything that i have with me and everything that i'm doing now so first things first i have my candle um usually i partner with three to four candles i'm only using one right now because it's just a video what i like about the candles is that it um it cleanses not really cleanses your aura but it calls upon the positive energy the positive vibe the positive ancestors to actually come forth and reveal themselves because we all know our ancestors can be represented by candles and also they can communicate with you using these candles so hence when you partner pay attention to how the candle reacts usually it is that reply to everything that you are talking about when you partner i also have my impepo help here okay as you guys know i've explained um the uses of impepo multiple times in my videos especially the video i posted a few months ago where i'm talking about what it's there for and i actually mentioned that it actually casts away negative entities negative energy and also what it does is that it calls upon your ancestors it brings your ancestors it connects you with your ancestors when you partner or when you pray or whatever it is that you're doing now i also have my snuff okay this is my african snuff I'm just putting in this container, but snuff is very important. Even if you don't have African snuff, even the snuff you get at stores, that's okay. Just get that snuff and you will be able to partner with it. As a, as a matter of fact, snuff is actually one of the most, it's actually the most important thing you need when you partner. You can partner without the candle and then pepper, it's fine, but make sure that you have snuff and water. I have my water in this color dash. I only pour just a little bit because it kept, I kept, Drop, pouring it on the floor over and over again so yeah so those are the things that i am using to partner because like i said this is a simple partner session it doesn't really require a lot of things right so yeah a simple partner session just needs all these few things if you don't want a pepper it's fine if you don't want a candle it's fine just have your snuff and have water so what i'm gonna do man first things first turn my pepper on like I said, the benefits of Impepo to connect you with the ancestors and also cast away negative entities and all those things. So, so I really prefer having Impepo on whenever I partner. Almost every single time, be it in the middle of the night or be it in the morning, that's cool. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a pinch of snuff and pour it on the floor. I'm only using this to actually avoid getting my floor dirty because I don't partner inside the house. I usually partner outside, but this since this is a video, I couldn't do it outside. So you pour your, your snuff on the floor. And when you do this, you call upon your ancestors from both your mother and your father's side. You ask them for protection, for guidance, everything that you desire. You talk to them about it. You communicate with your ancestors. You do it as though you are having a conversation with somebody else. But do respect them right um yeah so you have your you pour your snuff on the floor and after having done this wapuputa by doing this you are 
respect, showing respect to these beautiful ancestors, these beautiful guides of yours, showing them that you are here and you are listening and you are willing to do everything that they want you to do. And you take the water and you pour just... Okay, you don't really pour just a bit. I'm only pouring just a bit to actually avoid getting my... um my snuff wet my purple wet so yeah you pour your water on the floor and when you do this you are giving them their water in return for your own you're giving them blessings in return for your blessings in return you're giving them the water in return for your showers as a person in return so water is very important when you partner that's why i'm saying you should always have snuff and water if you don't have the pepper and the candles it's okay just have snuff and water so that is actually it that is actually how you part that it's actually really simple and it's it's a few minutes thing less than two minutes to actually do that and talk to your ancestors so guys um i advise you guys to actually part like in the afternoon before the sun sets it's very important to do that because you do not partner in the evening you do not partner at night né? and also you partner again in the morning usually uh, my morning preferences are from 3 a.m in the morning to around 6 a.m in the morning before the sun really rises that much so what you're gonna what you're doing here is because the thing about 3 a.m in the morning is that um it is a, a spiritual time whereby the physical realm and the spiritual realm are closely connected. The barrier between them is very thin at that moment. Hence, you are able to communicate with your ancestors a lot more at that time. Hence, that is why I actually prefer doing it at 3 a.m. in the morning. But if you cannot wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning, it is okay to actually um do it around 5, 6, 7, as long as it's like not eight nine ten the sun is already there it's already up you're not supposed to part in the middle of the day or in the middle of the night that is not how it's done and also another thing for the ladies you need to wear appropriately for your ancestors as you can see i never wear dresses but i'm actually wearing a dress right now and i have my my fabric <laughs> yeah so what you have to do is actually have those things and also have a duke on né? to show the ancestors respect to show them that you respect them and you acknowledge them at all times if your ancestors are those that don't really want you to wear a duke it happens to some of us it really happens um that's okay but for those of you whose ancestors i actually don't have don't really have a form with dukes then wear your duke at all times when you partner and that is very that is clearly it and as for men you do not oh and again you do not partner with shoes on you have to be barefooted when you do that because you're grounding yourself you're connecting with the soil you're connecting with your ancestors from the soil and as for men you do not wear a hat when you partner. You do not wear shoes when you partner. You show respect. And you acknowledge them by all means. Okay? So, yeah, that is pretty much how you partner. That is something that you should do every single day. If you can do it every day, at least three times a week, try to partner, try to communicate with your ancestors, invite them into your life, and see how beautifully things will turn out for you at the end of the day anyways guys um this is it thank you guys so much for watching i really enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you also liked it subscribe to my channel and if you want to contact me for consultation bookings only the number is 0 6 5 one my number there and another thing i want to point out guys please stop calling or texting me when you don't want when you don't want a consultation what you should do if, if you have a question or you want a dream to be interpreted leave it on the comment section and when i do get the time i will be more than happy to respond to you guys and answer all the questions translate all the dreams that you want me to translate anyways thank you guys so much for watching tokozani have a beautiful day or evening whatever time it is that you're watching this Christ,